to Trendonomics. I'm your host, Harsh Dixit, and today we are discussing the five core Elliott wave patterns every trader must know. These are the five core patterns around which the Elliott wave theory revolves, or these are the five patterns which provide us a high confidence and high probability trade setup. So what are these patterns? Impulse, diagonal, zigzag, flat, and triangle. These are the five patterns around which the Elliott wave theory revolves, and these patterns provide us high confidence and high probability trade setups. So let's look at these patterns and how they provide us the trading opportunities. So the first pattern is impulse. This is the first basic pattern of an Elliott wave theory. Market goes in a five waves rally, a trending move or a bull market, which always goes or unfolds in a five waves higher on every degree of time frame. So you would find a five waves rally on a five minute chart or a 30 minute chart or on a daily chart or on a weekly chart or even on a monthly chart. This repeats over the number of years. You would see a five waves rally unfolding in a bull market and a three waves correction followed by, followed after a five waves rally. And this pattern goes on over the number of years. In an impulse or a motive wave, there are basically three rules. First is wave two never retraces more than 100% of wave one. That is, wave two does not go below the low of wave one. Wave three is never the shortest among the impulse waves, wave one, three, and five. And wave four does not overlap into the territory of wave one high. These are the three main rules of the Elliott wave. And a violation of any of these rules means your count is wrong. Whatever your analysis or whatever your counting is probably wrong if the rule is violated. A lot of people are confused for the second rule, that is the third wave rule. The rule says, the third wave should not be shortest of the three impulse waves, one, three, and five. But that does not necessarily mean the third wave should be the longest one. Yes, the third wave could be shorter than either of wave one or wave five. It does not always extends or it does not always the longest wave, though most of the time it tends to be longest, but sometimes a fifth wave extends and it is longer than the third or very rarely a first wave extends and it is longer than the third. So don't get confused with the third wave rule. The rule simply says it should not be shortest among these three waves. Okay. So this is the NASDAQ 100 chart. Do you see a five waves rally? Yes, it is a clean impulse move on upside. Wave one, two, three, four, and five. And as per Elliott waves, whenever you spot a five waves rally completing, you would see a three wave correction and we could indeed see after the completion of the five waves rally, the NASDAQ 100 index went into a correction. Yes, retracing almost back towards the fourth wave low, yes. So once you spot a five waves rally completing, you could probably exit your long position. Uh, it does not necessarily mean you should start shorting 
but certainly it gives you a caution on your long or uh, a probable exit on your long positions. You can start shorting after market actually reverses. The pattern is always followed on all time frames. So you could see that within this third wave also, we can see a five waves move as wave one, two, three, four, and five. Yes, and after the five waves rally unfolded, we had a correction in fourth wave, and then market again rallied in a fifth wave higher. Uh, if you go into the hourly charts, you would again find that within wave one, you would find five waves, or within wave five also, you would find a five waves rally. So this pattern continues over the number of years on all time frames. And whenever you spot a five years rally coming to an end, you would notice or witness a correction mostly coming towards the wave four low or sometimes towards the wave two low. Moving on to the next pattern, a diagonal. You would find a diagon mostly in a fifth wave position. This is also a motive wave or a trending move or a directional move. But unlike the impulse wave, there the structure is three, 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 three. All the waves are three wave structure. Unlike the impulse where wave one, three, and five are the five waves move. In a diagonal, waves one, three, and five are also a three wave structure. So all the five waves are three wave structure. And in a diagonal, wave four overlaps into a territory of wave one high. So that is the basic difference between an impulse and a diagonal. Though both are the motive waves are a trending directional moves. Okay, so this is the Bitcoin chart. And could you spot an ending diagonal in a fifth wave position? Yes, an ending diagonal or a rising wage. We could spot it and we actually called for a big correction when we saw this breakdown in Bitcoin in the month of April. You could see that the momentum is fading. This is the RSI in index and the RSI is diverging. You could spot RSI divergence, price making higher highs, but the RSI is making lower tops. That means the strength now is not with the bulls. The strength is weakening and the momentum is fading. And there could be a likely trend reversal. So whenever you spot an ending diagonal, you know the next wave is going to be a massive correction. And we indeed called out for this wave for uh, for this correction, almost back towards the wave four low of 29,000. Yes, so whenever you spot an ending diagonal, the impending correction would come nearly towards the low of wave four or nearly uh, for, towards the beginning of the uh, ending diagonal. So that's the beauty of this pattern. They were it provides you a good short opportunity or a long exit. Yes, you could start shorting whenever market breaks the rising wage. Yes, you got a indication from RSI, negative divergence, that now bulls are lacking strength. The price is overlapping. And finally, we saw the breakdowns. Uh, 
we could see another breakdown here. This is a head and shoulders breakdown. So that was another confirmation, yes, right? So diagonal provides you basically a good exit or a sharp opportunity. Diagonals mostly comes in fifth way position. Sometimes in wave C, uh, some diagonals also come in wave one position as a leading diagonal or as a leading diagonal in wave A. We will see it later. Next is a zigzag. Again, it's a five, three, five pattern, a sharp correction into the market after a five wave impulse rally, you would see a, probably a zigzag correction. Zigzag is a five, three, five pattern, meaning wave A has a five waves, wave B is a three wave structure and wave C again a five waves move. Wave A and wave C are motive waves or a trending directional moves. And most of the time, wave A and wave C are five wave impulses. Sometimes there could be a leading diagonal in wave A or an ending diagonal in wave C position. But uh, wave A and C are always a five wave structure in a zigzag. And wave B is a three wave structure. Also, wave A and wave C tend towards equality, meaning that the distance traveled by wave C could be equal to wave A or in a Fibonacci proportion of wave A. It is usually a sharp correction and zigzag mostly forms in a wave two positions or sometimes in wave four positions whenever, whenever the market gives a sharp correction or shock in wave four after the third wave rally. Do you spot a zigzag over here? Now I have specifically chosen this chart. This is the Nifty 50 chart of last year. This is our early chart. We could spot a zigzag over here over here, but we could see that wave A is a leading diagonal and not a, an impulse, yes? So in a zigzag, necessarily it does not mean uh, it would be an impulse, a wave A and wave C. It could be a, a diagonal wave. So uh, it would be better if we actually see it on the charts. Let's look at the charts. So we could spot a leading diagonal in wave A position as A, B, C, D, and E. Yes, this is a leading diagonal, three, 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 three structure. And an A, B, C, or a three waves move in a B wave, followed by a five waves move down an impulse in wave C position. Yes. So this is a clear five, three, five pattern. Only exception is wave A is a leading diagonal. And this was formed last year uh, between September 2020 within the wave two correction. And whenever you spot a zigzag, you know that next wave is probably a large impulse move or a large impulse rally that would go to the new highs and much higher. And indeed, we could see that after this correction was over, we saw a very high and stupendous rally in wave three position. Yes, going to almost 12,000 and it just continued higher, yes, to 15,000 and higher. Currently, we are at 18,000 position in Nifty. So after this correction, one could definitely 
grab the lungs opportunity and trade for the rally trade lungs yes so this is the one of my favorite patterns moving on to the next next pattern is flat this is a 335 pattern where wave a is a three wave structure wave b is also a three wave structure and wave c is a fast and furious impulse wave which has five waves in it uh, while wave a and b could uh, take any form whether a b c or w x y but wave c always takes a form of an impulse in a flat correction and in a flat correction there are three types a regular or flat where wave b tend to retrace almost up to 90 percent of wave a and wave c goes down almost towards the low of wave a and you know an expanded flat correction it usually traps most of the traders in an expanded flat correction wave b actually goes uh, beyond the starting point of wave a or wave b actually forms a new high above the wave, high, wave a high and thereby trapping most of the traders and wave c again goes down almost back below the wave a high yes uh, wave a low so uh, an expanded flat usually traps most of the traders because uh, in an expanded flat correction we will be actually sometimes mark uh, new highs uh, we will be usually uh, retraces up to 1.382 percent of wave a and wave C is 1.618 in length of the wave A in an expanded flat. And an, in a an running flat correction, wave B goes beyond the wave A point, starting point, and wave C uh, takes uh, the distance equal to the wave A, and wave C does not go beyond the low of wave A. Let's look some example of flat. So this is the most relevant uh, example of an expanded flat correction. Do you see it? Yes. And this is a most deadly correction. Yes. Almost three years correction. Yeah. From 2018 to 2020 or uh, two years, two years correction. Uh, where wave A is actually uh, a three-wave form. Yes, you can see this is a three-wave correction. Wave B went almost well above the wave A point to the new highs and then wave C dropped deadly. Yes, this was the deadliest drop. And who would have thought that market could actually go to new highs or uh, new all-time highs? after this deadliest drop of March, 2020. No one, yes, but if you knew this expanded flat correction, if you knew Elliott Weaves pattern, you would definitely grab this opportunity in March, 2020 or April, May, 2020 to grab longs. We actually grabbed these longs in April, 2020 because we could saw this Elliott Weave pattern of an expanded flat let's look it on the charts so now here you can actually see that wave a is a wxy correction yes this is not abc uh, because over here wave c is uh, uh, or a third uh, wave is a three wave structure and in an abc uh, whether it's a flat or zigzag it's always a uh, 535 in a zigzag or in a flat, it's 335, but it's 333 all 
conclusive of three waves. So this was a three uh, three three T as wave A. Then wave B actually unfolded as an A B C zigzag. Yes, where wave B was a triangle. Yes, this was a triangle. You could spot a running triangle over here. Yes, we we could come to it when we uh, discuss triangle next. So ideally, once you spot this as a three wave correction, and then wave uh, this is this was the rally. Yes, you could have thought that okay, this is going to be wave one, two, and three, but this is the cat. You have a triangle. And triangle never forms in wave two position. Triangle always forms either in wave four or wave B position. So when you spot a triangle over here, you could actually guess that probably this is an expanded flat move going to the new highs. And then after this wave B ends, we could see the deadliest drop in wave C. Yes, wave C is a five waves move, a sharp, strong drop below the wave A low, yes. So in an expanded flat, we actually went to the new highs in wave B and went below the wave A low. So actually it traps both because a new high usually is bullish and new low usually seems bearish, but not always, yes. And If you spotted this an expanded flat, you would rather go long here after spotting your end of wave C here and minted on this stupendous rally. Who would have thought market would actually go to new all time side? Yes, if we spotted this expanded flat and we actually grabbed the opportunity over here for this stupendous rally of last 18 months. So this is the beauty of Elliott waves. Let's look at next pattern. So this is the final pattern, triangle. And again, one of my most favorite pattern, triangle. Triangle is a three, 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 three. Patterns consist of five waves, wave A, B, C, D, E. And all the waves are three wave structure unfolding as a triangle. There are three types of triangle. A barrier triangle where uh, a bullish barrier triangle or a bearish barrier triangle where uh, most of the times market acts a resistance at a same level or ascending triangle, that's an bullish barrier triangle when market tax resistance near same level and makes higher highs and breaks out higher or a bearish barrier, barrier triangle when a market tax support at a same level and breaks lower. Uh, there is a symmetrical triangle or a, a normal triangle where uh, we could see a market unfolding as a symmetrical triangle and a running triangle where wave B actually goes higher than the wave starting point of wave A and wave E and C are uh, higher than wave A position and uh, all the waves are actually getting shorter except the wave B. Uh, we could spot a running triangle over here in S&P 500. Yes, this was the running triangle over here where, where we went actually above the wave A, uh, above the starting point of wave A. Yes, this is a triangle A, B, C, D, and E. Yes, and where we could spot that we, we went higher uh, than the starting point of wave A and wave C and E are actually shorter than wave B. And uh, after the triangle forms, you know, the next impending wave is going to be fast and it is the last wave in that sequence. 
yes triangle is mostly in an impulse it is always spotted in a fourth wave position or uh, in a corrective move it uh, takes position in a wave b or sometimes in wave x position so you could spot a running triangle over here in a wave b position yes this was wave b wave a wave b as a running triangle and we see going higher again and an impulse yes we discussed just now when we observe this flat correction so whenever you spot a triangle you know that next impending wave is actually going to be the last wave in that sequence and after that the market is going to reverse sharply yes that's the beauty of triangle let's look some other chart so this is the 30 minute chart of impulses and we spotted a triangle in a wave four position and after you spot a triangle you know there is going to be a wave five thrust higher and you also know after the fifth wave there is going to be a dramatic reversal lower so uh, let's just look how does it actually unfolded on the real time charts so we spotted a triangle in Infosys and we entered longs on these breakouts, knowing that we are going for a V5 higher, probably towards 1800 R, and then we might just reverse. Did it actually happen? Yes, you could see market went higher in fifth wave, and then market simply started falling down and went almost below the wave four position yes so uh, when you spot a triangle in wave four you always know after the wave five it's going to be a dramatic reversal and indeed we could see there is a dramatic reversal in infosys after this fourth wave so you get two entries you i indeed get a long entry on this breakout you could trade long and whenever the trend changes you could actually start shorting as well yes that is the beauty of this pattern a triangle so we have discussed all the patterns and how we actually trade based on these patterns how we get a high confidence high probability setups so now is the time i give you the book Yes, so I have included this book. This is the Iliad V book by Robert Fractor. And it's a first complete book. It is an e-book. Uh, you can just grab this book by clicking on this link. I'm giving the link in description also. And you can just grab by clicking on the link. When you click on this link, you will be directed to the elite wave page so you will be directed to this page of elite wave international where you can register for free it's totally free you don't have to pay anything just enter your email set up a password and boom you are done i, I have already a login so i would rather show you my uh, login and how you actually grab this book sorry so we were on that link and Oh, it's taking some time yeah this is the book so when you log in you would actually get this book entire book by frost and practical complete book you can read it as many as times you can read it all the book it is we can study this book for a lifetime because it's free you can read it uh, whenever you want you can directly go to the sections yes and study Iliad waves more patterns and 
a lot of other things. You can also have a lot of other resources. Yes, under this resources section, you have the book free book and a lot of resources. So grab this opportunity and you want to learn elite thieves, you can definitely grab our masterclass, master to trade elite thieves. We are currently offering a heavy discount for a limited period. So you can grab this opportunity to learn elite thieves from us in our masterclass where I discuss everything, all not just these five patterns, but how you can actually take entries at protective stocks, where to enter your positions, how you can max the position size, how you can trail your stops and exit. I have also discussed how you can actually trade the alternate views when your view goes wrong. Yes, we, it's not always that your view will go right, but because you know the next best alternative waves, you can actually trade the next best alternative wave count, yes? So I have discussed everything, uh, how we will know that your probable view is going to go wrong and how you can actually benefit from it and trade the exactly opposite uh, trade, yes, you can take when your view goes wrong based on the Elliott waves theory and how you can write big massive waves, third waves, fifth waves, and everything about it is wave I have discussed and also about risk management because risk management is the most important part, yes. So I have discussed about risk management and everything so you can grab this opportunity and learn from us. Or otherwise you have this book, yes. So that's it. We are done with this course. I'm your host, Ash Dixit, signing off until we meet again.